you know what the chances are of me getting sick from drinking this raw milk? 220,000 to one. Yeah. Let's talk about raw milk safety. Hey everybody, my name is Dennis, and over the past 10 years, I've spent literally thousands of hours researching nutrition and applying it to my from scratch cooking. Today, I'm gonna answer three questions. Why do people start pasteurizing milk? Is raw milk dangerous? And if so, does pasteurization make it any safer? People have been drinking raw milk for thousands of years. So question number one, why did they start pasteurizing it? Here's the quick story. Back in the 1870s, farmers brought their cows to live inside cities. Well, that's brilliant. Old McDonald had a farm inside the city where the cows literally had no space to walk around and had to stand in their own feces and urine all day. E-I-E-I-O. That's not a joke. In addition to child labor, impoverished conditions, and poor nutrition, people in those cities had to deal with milk that was often contaminated with cow feces and coming from cows whose tails were literally rotting. Yikes. But despite what you might think, that wasn't the reason given for pasteurization. Nope. The reason given for pasteurization was tuberculosis. You see, tuberculosis was rampant at the time among both cows and people. So the genius health officials at the time decided that tuberculosis must be transmitted from cows to people by way of people drinking milk. It's the only thing that makes sense. Hold on, excuse me while I wash the industrial revolution coal soot out of my eyes using historically accurate contaminated water. Yeah, the only explanation, my donkey. Fast forward to today, and modern science has not only revealed that the tuberculosis causing bacteria lives everywhere in our world, I'm talking the grass, the leaves, the water, but also that it's completely harmless to healthy people. It only causes problems in people whose immune systems are basically useless, like in the case of an autoimmune disorder or extreme malnutrition like the people in the 19th century cities were experiencing. Also, in a 2002 study, we found out that raw milk contains an enzyme called lactoferrin, which actually kills the tuberculosis bacteria for you. It's strange how something that kills tuberculosis would be the reason people got tuberculosis. But who am I to question the all-powerful health officials? Clearly, they must be smarter than me. Obviously, pasteurization was started for the wrong reason, because raw milk just isn't a vector for tuberculosis transmission. But that doesn't necessarily mean that raw milk is safe. So question number two, is raw milk dangerous? What are the chances of getting sick from drinking raw milk? Short answer, about 220,000 to one in a given year. For comparison, you're 73 times more likely to get struck by lightning at some point in your life. Oh, and finding a four-leaf clover, that's only 10,000 to one odds. So I'd say those odds are pretty good. But what about the long answer? Look. Every food we eat has the potential to contain a toxin or bacteria that makes us sick. Is it likely? No. Is it possible? Sure. We could just stop eating food, but that's likely to cause starvation. So the question we should be asking is not, is raw milk dangerous? But does raw milk carry with it a higher percent chance of contracting a foodborne illness compared to other foods? The answer is no, it's probably one of the safest foods, and I've got the numbers to prove it. Buckle up, because we're gonna do some math. A pathologist by the name of Dr. Ted Beals discovered that from 1999 through 2011, there was a total of 502 cases of illness attributed to raw milk. That averages out to 42 cases per year. Other researchers contend that the number should actually be lower, but let's just play it safe and use 42. Based on the 2010 US Census data and a survey done by FoodNet, which is a division of the CDC, we can calculate that the raw milk drinking population was approximately 9.4 million people. Well, 42 cases per year in a population of 9.4 million people means that you had, and this is the important part, a 0.00044% chance of becoming ill from drinking raw milk. Put another way, your odds of getting foodborne illness from raw milk were 220,000 to one, which is the number I mentioned earlier. Personally, I like those odds. But how does that compare to other foods? Is it close? No, (laughs) not even remotely. The CDC Food Net Division estimated that in 2008, there was a total of 48 million cases of foodborne illness across all foods. Well, in a population of about 309 million people, that means that you had about a 16% chance of becoming ill from any food source. Formatted as odds, it's about six to one. Six to one versus 220,000 to one. Which is bigger? I'm no rocket scientist, but I was homeschooled, so I'm pretty good at math. And I can tell you that based on these numbers, raw milk is 35,000 times safer than the average food. I challenge anyone to show me evidence of a safer food. I'm betting there isn't one. And the benefits of drinking raw milk are enormous, as I've talked about in this video. But just for fun, let's ask question number three, 
does pasteurization make milk safer? I mentioned earlier that raw milk contains the enzyme lactoferrin, which kills the tuberculosis bacteria. Well, pasteurization destroys the enzymes in milk, including lactoferrin and many others that actually support our immune system and neutralize pathogens. Practically speaking, this means we need to work extra hard to protect pasteurized milk from becoming contaminated because we've destroyed the natural safety measures found in raw milk. Of course, there's a lot of other factors though, so let's just go by the numbers. Cornell University, which I hear is looking for beet farmers, did a study of CDC data from the years 1973 through 2009. Based on their criteria, they attributed 1,100 cases of illness to raw milk and 422,000 cases to pasteurized milk, including 50 deaths. And for some reason, they're not even including the 29 additional deaths caused by one outbreak of pasteurized milk. Even adjusting for the lower number of people drinking raw milk, we still see that you're more than 10 times as likely to get sick from drinking milk that's been pasteurized. Personally, I don't really wanna die right now, so I'm gonna keep drinking my milk raw. And next time someone repeats the lie to you that pasteurizing milk is good, Maybe ask them, are you trying to kill people? Real quick before you go, there's several links in the description to where I got all the evidence for this video. So if you want more information, it's right there. And now that you know the truth about raw milk, can you do me a favor? Think of a person in your life who's open to learning new things and share this video with them. It's really important to get this information out because drinking raw milk is one of the simplest things you can do to improve your health. And when you like and share my videos, it really does help me grow this channel and reach more people. So thank you in advance. And that's about it.